Hello and welcome back. I am coming to you now uh, because there is another disturbing uh, message that I need to to give you. All right. This one is called I U I C. This is the most racist, sexist, oppressive, ignorant cult I have heard in a very long time. So let's talk about it. The problem is when we do not expose error, it remains in darkness and our children and grandchildren can easily fall victim or become preyed upon by such foolishness. So we're going to talk about it today. Um, this is called Israel United in Christ should actually uh, break down to a bunch of people who like to focus on the outer appearances um, of like your skin color, your origin, your nationality, and then they divide human beings into categories of worthy and unworthy. All right. Now, this group, they claim affiliation to Christ, but really they are united in Antichrist because there is nothing Christ like about them. They oppress the women of the cult by dictating their roles from within. They make the women submissive to the men and they take away most of their freedoms by making them dress a certain way, speak a certain way, and minimize their whereabouts. The cult is usually on street corners proclaiming an erroneous doctrine of hatred. Um, if you are not one of the three chosen races that they consider to be selected by God to be saved, okay? A woman was killed at the hands of one of the men that she trusted in this cult. She had submitted herself to his teaching and, you know, it was very dangerous uh, for her because she lost her life as a result. This is a dangerous cult altogether. It should be avoided at all costs. This is just a light overview of the religion. Believe me, I have much more to say, um, but I will leave you with this. I'm going to uh, put in a few clips from a debate that our brethren held to combat this cult and expose their error. So they uh, rebuke them to the face as they should. And they expose them for what they really are. So I love you, but be on the lookout uh, for this information incoming now. Praise you, the Lord. You hear that? He ain't done so with any other nation. The law, statutes, and commandments was given only to the Israelites for them to receive salvation. This book, you brothers and sisters, are going to find out is the heritage, the history, and the culture of the nation of Israel only. And the first one. Everybody came through that lineage, unless we don't believe that. Unless we don't believe Adam and Eve is the first woman, we have to come to that conclusion that if they are, every nationality of people came from Adam and they came from Eve. An individual. So this is just another human being of their sin. They're not going to make a far over one of their legions. We understand that amount of understanding. So he says, the sins of the whole world. Once again, I want to read, but also for the sins of the whole world. And I just want to encourage the audience to understand this one thing. Uh, Shaka read the right scripture, and I was glad he read that. John 10, 34, Father, because I can't give a scripture to break his scripture. He can't give a scripture to break mine. So therefore, the scriptures don't clash. If you take the wrong scripture and say, a person can't eat pork today, and we see in Acts 10, Peter is told, rise, kill, and eat. So that would include every beast. So Amen. that scripture doesn't break what is in the law of Moses. Amen. The law of Moses is fulfilled according to Luke 24 already. By Christ said, I fulfill all that was written. Amen. And the law and the prophets and laws of me. And Amen. so that's what makes the Lord come forward and say, Peter, rise, kill, and eat. And that's what he said. So verse 3, and hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. He that said, I know him and keeping not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. But whoso keepeth his word, in him truly is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. Main focus point, die for the sins of the whole world. You cannot use the statement whole world if you're speaking of one nation, right. which is the Jew, that's just one nation. And the Lord said, I don't know any other nation other than you. I didn't have a relationship. So that's other nation by his speech alone. So that's.